Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. A lot of folks ask us, what's the life expectancy of modern bowling balls? Well, you know, it's a, it's a commonly asked question, and the best answer it is, no one really knows. When a new bowling ball is introduced on the market, manufacturers hope they'll get five to ten years of life out of it. The shelf life of it might only last one year, sometimes less, sometimes more. The shelf life being how long will the ball be popular, how long will it stay in the pro shops on their shelves. Uh, so, but once you own that bowling ball, you're not interested what the shelf life is anymore. You want to know that it's going to last you a long time and continue to do the job. So there's a couple things you can do. Number one, don't be lazy. Get into the pro shop. After you roll 30 to 60 games with a bowling ball, you should resurface that ball and restore the surface texture to the way it was either when it was brand new out of the box or so it has a layered grit procedure after the rescreening of the ball is done, removing all the oil and the dirt and everything off the surface and keeping the surface smooth. Uh, then you want to restore the surface texture to best match to the lane conditions where you bowl. It's surprising how long, bowler, how long bowlers will go before they get into the pro shop and work on resurfacing their bowling ball. Uh, these bowling balls are so sensitive to, tech, to friction changes on the lane surface, uh, you might have a ball that reacts real good in heavy oil, but as that surface wears and gets smoother and smoother, no longer has the, the, the friction or the grabbing power on the lane surface, uh, and you wonder what happened to the bowling ball. It's quit on me. It's up to you to get that ball in 30 to 60 games, depending on how often you bowl. Now, there are some things you can do in between, is you can get some cleaner in four-ounce squeeze bottles, possibly polished, and you can get a microfiber bowling towel, something like that. When you're done bowling, after every session on the lane, spray that uh, ball cleaner and rub it down real good and get the oil and the dirt off the ball to preserve that ball's ability to, to grab the lane surface with the right amount of friction uh, from session to session. Uh, as you go through the weeks leading into a full resurfacing job. Now, there are techniques that can be done. We, we say that uh, you can polish uh, shiny bowling balls or scuff your dull balls with any type of Aberlon grit pad that you choose, keep in your bowling accessory pouch, maybe after 10 games, and you can do a quick little hand uh, uh, application of the grit pad in order to make the uh, surface of the ball kind of respond to the way you want it to. If you scuff and repolish shiny bowling balls, you should do it after about every 30 games. And a full resurface, I think, is needed. And also to look and make sure you don't you replace your finger inserts after 60 games of bowling. And, you know, bowlers typically won't change inserts. They'll let them wear out and start breaking and fraying. And all of a sudden that affects the way they release the bowling ball or their, their fingers rotate the ball slightly. Get in there and change those inserts. Keep everything. Be meticulous with your bowling, uh, with your bowling ball surface, and, and it will help you. Now, if you want to reduce oil absorption, as I said, clean your ball after use all the time. Uh, don't let too much oil absorb into the pores of the ball. Uh, and if you see a visible track on your bowling ball or any marks or nicks, get into the pro shop and let them restore it to it, its original factory finish. Since there are so many techniques on preparing the ball surface, you need to collaborate with your pro shop operator. Make sure you guys are a team. You understand where you're bowling and what kind of surface texture you need on your bowling ball and let the pro shop help you. Uh, if you do that, you'll preserve the life expectancy of your bowling ball for a very, very long time. And I don't see any reason you can't get 10 years of use out of it. I hope that information helps. Thank you.